If you want your budget in Monarch Money to be automated, I'm going to show you how to use the rules. Hey there, I'm Brittany Blammer, a financial coach with videos all about budgeting and money saving tips for you and your family. In the last video, I showed you how to set up your budget. Today, I'm going to show you how you can make it automatic. It takes a little bit of work up front, but then in the long run, things will be automatic and you won't have to spend a lot of time on it. There are two major ways you can adjust the rules in Monarch Money to make things automatic. The first way is in your transactions. So if you open up to all of your transactions, these transactions are automatically going to be categorized for you. Monarch does a pretty good job, better than most budgeting apps, but it's not perfect. So in the beginning, you can just spend some time going through and correcting the transactions and setting up the automation. For example, we open it up, I see IBM is categorized as James's money. If I'm not sure what the transaction is, I can click on this arrow or carrot and get more information. I can see what account this money is going into, see the date. I can add notes or a tag, or maybe it's your spouse's transaction and you don't know what it was for. You can mark it as needs review. If you and your spouse are on a joint, on an account together, um, it will show both your names and you can click the person, whoever you want to review it, click their name. This is just a demo account, so I don't have that option. Um, if you need more information, this is where you go to. But if you can look at that transaction and know, I can look at that and see that that's my money. Um, James works at the University of Illinois, but the IBM is my paycheck. So I can just click on that category where it says James's money and I can choose which category I want it to go into. So in this case, it will be Brittany paycheck. Now, when I change that, it, there's going to be a pop-up asking me if I want to make it automatic. There are a lot of options for this. I'll go more into more detail in a minute, but for now I do want to. So I'll click on it and I know that IBM is my paycheck. So if the merchant's name is IBM, I want the transaction to be categorized as Brittany's paycheck. And if there are other transactions, I can click in the bottom and it's going to apply to all of the other transactions. So I'll mark that, hit save, and now it has updated all of those transactions. And I can see that if I go into the cash flow tab. You can continue to automate transactions by just scrolling through your transactions. And anytime you find an error or something that's not where you think it should be, you update it and create a rule. For example, I'm just scrolling through. I see a transaction from Chipotle. It's categorized as auto maintenance. So let's fix that. I just click on it and I'll choose restaurants and it's going to pop up asking me to create a rule. I can save that. All future Chipotle will come up as restaurants. Now, if something's categorized incorrectly, you can change it without creating a rule. For example, target is categorized as shopping, which is usually where I want it to go. But this specific transaction, I was buying a gift. So I want it to go into a different category. So I'll select the category and change it to gifts. When it pops up asking me if I want to customize it, I can just click dismiss or I can just wait a second and the pop-up will go away and it will not change or it won't create a rule. It will just change that one transaction. This is one way of automating, just going through all your transactions. But there is another way and I'm gonna show you how detailed your automation can be. There are a couple of ways you can get to it. If you're already in the transactions tab, just go to the top right and select customize rules. Or you can always access it through settings. If you want to go to settings, click on your account, settings, and then rules. Now this is gonna pop up showing you the rules you've already created. Um, this is just a demo account, so I want to start fresh. So I'm going to go ahead and delete all of them. I'll click on options, delete all rules. Now, keep in mind when you delete the rules, it is not going to change the things that have already been categorized. So the transactions in the past will stay how they are, but it will, the rules will affect everything in the future. So we can see if I go back to transactions, that income from IBM is still categorized as Brittany's paycheck, even though I deleted the rule but the future ones from IBM will not be categorized as Bernie's paycheck. So now to create a rule, click create rules. There are a lot of ways to customize. This is like an if then statement on the left hand side is all the if, if you change something on the left hand side, then you can affect something on the right hand side. So let's start with merchant. This is a very common one. Um, you can select a merchant name. You can choose if it exactly matches or if it just contains a name. So if it contains, maybe let's do Walmart. If it contains Walmart, 
because that my Walmart in-store shows up as Walmart and then my Walmart.com shows up as Walmart.com. So if I choose include, if it contains Walmart, then I want to update that category to be shopping or maybe that's where I do my groceries. So I want it to be groceries category. And then if there are any existing transactions, um, I can check that box at the bottom at the bottom and it will update all Walmart to go into that category. Um, after you do that, you'll see the rule there. Every rule you create will show up here. I'll click on that same one and I can add merchant names. So let's say I do grocery shopping at Aldi or at Whole Foods. Um, any stores I put in there will be updated to groceries. Um, and you can just do this. You could create a new rule for each one or if you do, if you have similar ones all in one rule, this means you won't have as many rules to go through. You can also categorize by amounts, a uh, set amount. For example, preschool each month I pay via Venmo. So the merchant name is Venmo and the account equals 125. So I want to update that so that the category will be categorized as child activity. And I'll save that. Now in this demo, there are no actual transactions of that. In my personal account, there would be, but I can create rules. So Venmo, and maybe I use Venmo to pay for piano. I could also create one for piano for that amount, or you can do greater than, less than, in between. You can also create rules based on categories. Maybe your spouse does a lot of shopping on Amazon. Um, you can turn on a category, maybe select shopping. Your wife does most of the shopping and mark as need review. So everything that comes into the shopping category will be marked as needs review and you can choose your spouse to review it so that she makes sure if there are household items she's buying or she can make sure everything gets categorized how it's supposed to be. You can also create rules by account. So maybe your kid's account is linked and you want those transactions to be hidden or something. There are so many possibilities for how you can customize. My recommendation is to start with specific rules that you know, you spend monthly or regularly go to this restaurant or whatever, make sure they're correct. And then just kind of, as they pop up, create rules that make sense to you. Cause if you go overboard, it can get a little bit overwhelming. If you wanna see how to set up your budget with Monarch Money, check out this video up here. Otherwise make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell to get notified. Cause I've got videos coming up about how to do sinking funds and deal with your credit cards in Monarch Money. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video.